Hi, retirees need less stocks and more annuities. So says the title by Market Watch in July of 2011. I'm gonna go ahead and send this um, report over to you so you can read a little bit about what Market Watch has to say, and it's by Robert Powell. And here's what's happening. What's happening is uh, we've been told our whole lives, put your money and grow at accumulation. And it's been a great place to make accumulation back in the 80s and the 90s because you've had many, many people putting monies into the market, especially when ERISA opened up 401ks and IRAs, trillions of dollars poured in with baby boomers putting monies into the 401ks. So it's, think about like what happened when everybody was buying real estate and banks just lent everybody. Um, when you have a lot more buyers and a lot more money flooding in, real estate rises. That's what happened in the 80s and the 90s. It was just absolutely incredible. Now we're what we call in a bearish market where you have the market peaked way out that came way back down and it's kind of settling out a little bit. But we have 10,000 baby boomers retiring every single day for the next 10 years, 10,000 of them. So here we have a whole group of people, 90 million people, putting money into the market. Now they're going to retire. Now they're going to start pulling money out of the market. So what happens in real estate when everybody sells. Well, what I'm saying is there's a lot of um, withdrawals that are gonna be taken out. And here's the dangers in place. It's possible that the market will go back up. It's possible that the market could go down. There's risks involved. But the big disadvantage is when you have the stock market going up and going down, even if it goes up like this over the next 10 years, there will be years you need to take out $30,000, $50,000 to maintain your lifestyle. So what happens is, hey, I want to enjoy life. I want to spend it. I want to get the car I wish. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to spend time with the family or do things for the grandchildren. What happens if you start taking withdrawals when the market goes down? It erodes the principal much faster. It's, a, it's called reverse dollar cost averaging. Okay, so Here's what needs to take place is for your basic living expenses, basic living expenses is very important. Um, if you need $3,000 per month, okay, do not take those withdrawals out of stocks. Okay? Now, if you're putting away $3,000 a month, which is called dollar cost averaging, that's where you're buying shares by the market goes down, that's good because when the market comes back up, it, it pushes your money back up, your dollar cost average, your returns. It has the reverse effect when you pull money out. So do not pull money out like, out of a vehicle that goes up and goes down. Okay, That's rule number one. And rule number two is it's best to have your income coming from something that's fixed income that has a maturity date or that pays income for life for your basic living expenses. So if you think about Social Security, Social Security gives you income for life. People don't think about gosh, I'm forced to pull money out of my paycheck every two weeks and put it into the Social Security system. What kind of return does Social Security make? All they care about is what am I going to get at 862 if I turn it on? I'll get 1200 a month. What if I turn it on at 866? I will get 1500 a month. Okay. All they care is about the net cash flow. So what this article actually talks about is they're speaking about life income annuities, which is kind of like annuitizing where your cash flows, your income for life, can't you put in X based on your life, they'll pay you 3,000 a month, which is good because that gives income for life, you can't outlive it. You don't have to worry about the reverse cost average effect. Now, for people have half a million, 800,000 million, whatever the case is, what we're noticing is they're sitting there looking at their nest egg, okay? And if they have their $1 million dropped down to seven, hundred thousand one year, they don't want to take that fifty thousand dollar withdrawal because that fifth that goes down to six fifty. It erodes it much much faster. That's what happens. So what they do is they say, well, we're only gonna take ten thousand dollars this year because the market's down. I don't call that enjoying retirement. I don't call that spending with retiring with confidence. All of our Air Force clients, we were out here in Tucson, Arizona, you know, a lot of them get military pensions, Air Force pensions, and 
they're getting Social Security a lot of times, and they also get a pension. And many times their pensions are over 100000 a year. And guess what? They're all traveling, they're having fun, they're spending with confidence. But if those same people had a million in the market, those same people would be like this, not want to pull their money and not spend confidence because they see this and they're concerned. They're watching their statement every month. Okay? Once you start looking at a contractual cash flows for life, Okay? then you spend with confidence. Now, what's good about the hybrid annuities is that they took the pensions, right? The problem with the pension is you lose control of that asset. You can't pull money back out. So what they did is they took the hybrid index annuities and they added the pension to one. So what happens is you have your balance, you get your income for life, the 50000 per year. It's possible if the account grows, your income can increase with inflation. But if the market doesn't go up and the asset doesn't perform, you're still guaranteed 50000 for life. Or 10 years from now, if you want to pull your money back out, if there's whatever's in there, 800000 in there, you can roll it over something else if there's something different along the way. It's not like you lost control of it. It's called annuitization or what I call committee annuitization. So I hope you enjoyed this article. And do not take withdrawals out of a vehicle that does this for your basic living expenses. Thank you.